Welcome to week 17 of the Tecmo Owners League, and we have the all-important week 17 do-or-die in-or-out game here as the Urban Achievers take on the Chicago Robbers, and this is basically the first round of the playoffs, if you want to think of it like that, because whichever team wins this game has guaranteed themselves a spot in the playoffs. The Robbers, of course, as you all know, are led by MVP candidate Al Capone. And it would be harder to make a a case for Capone as league MVP if his team didn't even make the playoffs. Now, it is an individual award, so I'm not sure if team achievements need to be necessarily tied to that. But it's definitely a mark against him if he wasn't able to lead the team into the playoffs. And uh, the Urban Achievers are benefiting from the first tie in TOL history. Without that, their playoff chances would be significantly worse. Um, I've had the pleasure of calling the Achievers multiple times. I've had the displeasure of losing to them twice as the owner of the Uncanny X-Men. I have uh, gotten my butts kicked by them. Uh, They were in my division, and so I hope they... uh, Rotten hell for eternity. But that said, no uh, no harm done here. I'm let, we're going to let bygones be bygones. I'm going to call a clean game for these fuckers. And, uh, you know, I'm not even going to go over rankings and stats because you throw all that shit out the window in week 17 when it's do or die for the playoffs. None of that stuff matters. I don't, I don't want to hear that you're ranked 13th in defense. No. It's, do you show up when it matters most or not? This is where we separate the heroes from the losers. And we're getting ready to start this one off. Kickoff coming up, and it's going to be Saddam Hussein with the kickoff. And uh, Matt Forte is back deep. Catches it a couple yards into the end zone. Brings it out to about the three. And uh, Capone takes the handoff. And oh, safety! You do not fuck with the Jesus. Safety right off the bat. Stonefoot now kicks off. And the robbers are already just buried deep here. As far as odds of winning this game. They uh, are down 2 nothing. The Achievers have the ball at the 35. And Walter has a short dive, doesn't pick up anything. So the dude is uh, got to be feeling pretty good. I guess he always does, though, right? Throwing it deep. Oh, the big catch to Lebowski. Can she get it? Touchdown. I mean, what? Like, a almost perfect start. Bunny Lebowski scores, and it's 9 nothing. and I feel like the band isn't even off the field yet. Holy smokes, less than a minute into the game, and they kicked off. They kicked off, and it's 9 nothing in the first minute of the game. And uh, uphill battle for the robbers, to say the least. Now, if anybody can put up a huge point game, in a situation like this, it's it's Capone. So, you know, you, you can't count out the number one uh, offense in the league so quickly. But uh, first down, pick up a six on the run up the middle. And, uh, Capone drops back. Bam! Down to Stevens for the first catch here. And Capone does not seem to be intimidated by the uh, uphill battle he has to face. Again to Stevens across the middle. Picks up about 15. Sanders gets smushed, but luckily it's only a loss of one because it's a short, quick dive play. Capone now drops back. He's got Stevens across the middle, threads the needle, and he gets it out to across the 50. Whew. I'm like trying to catch my breath here, folks. What a game. What a game. Barely getting started here. And Sweetness takes the ball down to about the 38, 39, and second down and two, 39. Capone chooses to go deep here. 
He's got the dump down if he wants it. He does. Walter Payton picks, takes it down to about the 32. And they are moving fast and furious. A nine point deficit is not too much for them to overcome. And second and nine. Again, another dive here. Stopped. All right, it's third and eight. So the, the drive was looking really strong, but now their backs are up against the wall here. Oh, and the sack. You do not fuck with the Jesus. And, uh, whew, trying to go for a long field goal here. This is kind of a scary moment for the robbers. From the bottom half. Oh, the block! The field goal is blocked. And it's a clean pickup for Carl Hungus. Oh, he takes it to the 20, down to the 10, a bad dive. Touchdown! The Urban Achievers came to play. Carl Hungus takes the blocked field goal 50 yards and scores. And we're not out of the first quarter, and it's 16 to nothing. Cohen brothers would be proud here. Matt Forte picks it up, takes it to the 20, and you know, hopefully this game's not over before it's even starting here. Well, well I guess that's a stupid thing to say because the game's clearly started, but um, throws it to sweetness for a loss of one. Second and 11. Throws it across the, ooh, incomplete. That one could have been picked too. Third and 11, backs against the wall. Can Capone get it done like he's done all season? Oh, cross body throw to Peyton and Peyton. Man, I'll tell you what, even if they do lose this game, I think I'm still putting Al Capone as a first team quarterback over Kobe Bryant on my uh, all pro team here. Throws it deep to Jackson. And he takes it down to the 15. Big strike offense. So it's 16 to nothing. But you cannot count this robber's team out. Capone's got not much. Oh, throws it away. Good, probably good choice. Second and ten. Throws it. Intercepted. I take that back. Kobe's first team quarterback. Man, the one mistake they couldn't make. Costly turnover. And you know, I mean, we've all seen this before, folks, in Tecmo. Sometimes it's just not your day, and you hate to see something like that happen. Um, you know, on a, on a week 17. Oh, but maybe it's too early to start saying that. Eddie Jackson picks up the fumble. Just when they needed a big play, they get it. They're still in it. There's still life. I was going to say, sometimes some teams just don't show up. <laughs> Turns it right back over. Ugh. This game is so, there's so much going on, I, I, it's hard to keep up with. So yeah, maybe this is one of those games where they just didn't show up. Um, you know, like as uh, a lot of you saw in week 15, um, clearly my team is better than the Attorney of All-Stars because I whipped them a couple weeks before that. Um, but my team just had one of those dud games where they just didn't show up. It just happens in Tecmo. So it has nothing to do with necessarily the skill of the owner that put the team together. Clearly, I put a better team together than the owner did of the Attorney of All-Stars because I whooped them two weeks before. Bad. I mean, I whooped them bad. Um, but, you know, just one of those things where Tecmo just decides to bone you in the bone hole and your team just can't do anything right. So um, back to the action here and the robbers... Need a defensive stop. It's second and nine. Um, Walter's not real fast. Um, but, you know, picks up three and three here. It's second and it's third and four. And again, they give it to him. Uh, he's short. And a minute 53 left. I mean, it's definitely enough time for the robbers to put some points on the board. Oh, they get the punter. That's a big play. Now, Capone needs to keep those turnovers in check and needs to put points on the board. Going into the second half here. Peyton with some room, but oh, shucks the defender. Shucks another defender. First down. First and 10 from about the 11. So they technically could pick up another first down here. Um, Capone, gonna use his feet. Not known for his feet, but pick up a couple when you can, I suppose. Second and eight. I'm not sure that this offense is built for goal line situations. 
Oh, but Peyton, oh, too far in the back of the end zone. We all know how that, what that's like. Third and eight, needs something here. This is a big play for them. Oh, and walks right into the log jammer. Now, do they kick the field goal? Yeah, they're just gonna get some points on the board before the half. They should be able to make this. Kick is up, and it's good. All right, so it keeps it within two scores. Um, Stonefoot um, gets the big three points. Um, the Achievers don't necessarily have a big play offense, but you know it is enough time that they could put another score on the board. Uh, Bryant with a good return will certainly increase those chances. So he brings it out to the 31. Dude is looking deep. The dude abides. Oh, Lebowski with the big catch. And they are likely to put more points on the board. The missed dive touchdown. Wow. And just like that, the robbers just scratched and clawed their way to a field goal. It didn't leave that much time on the clock, but apparently it was too much. Mauled Lebowski. Goes the distance. And now we're talking about blowout territory. Up 20 going into the half. I don't think Matt Forte is going to bring this one to the house. Um, does she break a tackler. Brings across the 20. And I guess they can try to throw it deep, but they don't have a lot of speed on the outside, the robbers. Um, oh, and instead they're just swarmed. You do not fuck with the Jesus. And that'll end the half. 23 to 3. Oh, and you, you know, you, you start to feel for the robbers and Capone a little bit. As, uh, they had such a good season. They were a fun team to watch. And uh, you're just seeing a meltdown. Meltdown here, folks. And uh, Brent with the kick return. And it's first and ten from uh, 14 as the dude... Going deep to Brandt, catches it across the 50. And the dude and the achievers are balling out today, folks. Dude is gonna run for it. Picks up the first down. First and 10, going for the reverse. Oh, nice one. Good reverse here, picks up the first down. First and 10, and they're marching. This is the worst thing that could happen to Roberts is a slow marching drive here. Brant looks open at the top. Oh, throws it across the middle to the white Russian. Takes it down to the six. And the dude drops back. Oh, gets sacked, Richard Dent. It's a great 85 Bears defense. Somebody stepped up and made a play for the robbers. Can somebody else? They're running the reverse again. It looks like there's some there. It's there, folks. Oh, doesn't pick up much, but holds on to the football. Motion before the play. And again, another reverse to Lebowski. Oof, that defender is fast. Oh, but Lebowski's got moves. Just short. Oh. You hate to see an injury for a team that's likely going to be walking into the playoffs here. Bunny Lebowski. Their biggest playmaker, I believe. Um, you know, comes out, Sherry's coming in. I don't remember Sherry from the movie. And obviously, you just kick the field goal here. You just keep piling on points. You don't have to worry too much about the uh, details here. The kick is up, and it is good. It's 26 to 3. You know, the comeback is starting to look unlikely here. Not starting to look, it's been unlikely, I guess, for a little while here. Uh, they get the ball at the 10, so. First and 10. Oh, oh, oh man, Defino with the lurch. I guess lurching's allowed if it's computer on computer, right? Uh, second and 15. Ooh. No, tries to thread it in there, can't get it done. Capone. Not going to put up big numbers. Well, it's not too late to put up some some big numbers here. Williams. Oscar Williams. Oh, fumbles it. Oh, like I said, folks, 
you know, no, no shame here for the robbers. Sometimes your team just doesn't show up. When they needed it most, they just laid an egg. So Walter with a nice solid run here, picks up seven. And so now we start looking at, uh, you know, the playoffs. And I, for one, even though I'm not part of it, touchdown to Maude Lebowski. Still have a crush on her after all these years, Julianne Moore. Um, so the playoffs, uh, I'm super excited about it. Even though my team didn't make it, uh, I'm still excited to see what the playoffs bring. Um, not that anybody particularly cares, but I think I'm going to make uh, my prediction for the postseason at the conclusion of this call. And I hope uh, Bobby sets up some kind of thread where we can you know, sort of discuss some... Oh, another interception for Capone. Oh. I mean, I, honestly, I don't like to see this. I didn't. I was joking around about being mad at the uh, achievers coming into this game, but they're a cool team, and I like the owner, so, uh, you know, there's no beef here. Um, but I just don't like to see Capone had such a big season. I just hate to see the stats just get crushed in the... In the last game here, I hope he throws a couple deep touchdowns, even if they don't win. Brian Erlacher, Hall of Fame linebacker, with the sack here. Um, so, D&D &D team, which I am a fan of, will enter the postseason with the number one ranking. It is interesting, though, because the running dead uh, have the most significant uh, advantage in the point differential. Um, and if you ask me, I think, you know, obviously wins and losses is what matters most, but if you, you got to look at the point differential to see the, the true quality of a team. Um, so if you look through the rankings, um, you know, if you want to see really how good a team is, you should, you should really be looking at the, uh, point differential to see where, where the difference makers are. Looks like they're going to tack on another field goal. Oh, they might miss this one, actually. Yep, missed. No good. Um... And the Ren Dead put up that huge number. Um, so they are obviously going to be a force to reckon with in the playoffs. And um, you know, so on paper, those two teams would be the uh, you know, big favorites. Nice run by Walter Payton. Sweetness Payton. He's not going to score here, but uh, you know the Robbers just needed some kind of big play just to... Give them something here. Uh, I really hope the opponent makes a big play at some point. Sanders is eating up. Second and 12. You do not fuck with the Jesus. Picks up another sack. He's had a bunch today. And uh, Capone. Uh, oh, threads it in there to Jackson. Fourth and seven. They obviously are going to go for it. He throws it up big time here. Or, you know, runs it up the middle of Sanders. I mean, that's the play to go for on fourth and eight. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to play this uh, Urban Achievers team in the playoffs. They are definitely a good team. I mean, they have proven that. Um, you know, they... Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm going to predict them to win the Super Bowl or anything like that, but... If I was playing in the first round of the playoffs, these are not the team. This is not the team I would want to see my team lined up against. They, you know, it's just a solid, balanced team. Um, you know, the Jesus gets a lot of pressure up front, and um, you, know, you got to hope that Bunny Lebowski comes back healthy. But the receivers can catch. Walter isn't overly fast, but uh, is capable of uh, picking up runs. <laughs> And there goes Maud again. Oh, touchdown. This is just like rubbing salt in the mood, in the wound here. Maud Lebowski, and it's going to be a 37-point lead here for the Achievers. Yep, the kick is not blocked. For a second, I thought it might be blocked. Um, in regards to the playoffs, there is an old expression that says that... Uh, Defense wins championships. Um, I personally 
I think that that's a bit overrated, if I'm being honest with you. Um, you see plenty of teams win championships with good offense, you know? Good offense typically beats good defense. That being said, I think that, uh, you know, in a, in a playoff Tecmo situation, um, defense might be the key. Because everybody's got, oh, uh, Williams oh, stopped just short, and we know how the robbers have done on, on short yardage situations. No, but they get it this time. All right. Peyton picks up the touchdown. But we still get to double digits, assuming they make this point here. Cut the, cut the lead down only to 30. But, you know, every offense is obviously designed to score. And everybody who's got a team that's going to make it, you know, deep into the playoffs is going to have a team that uh, can do so. So I do think it's going to be those, uh, those sacks and those interceptions that are going to... You know, win somebody a championship here. Oh, speaking of sacks, there's Chris Johnson with one. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, again, something I hate to see. The dude goes down. I mean, we're in garbage time here. Oh, yeah, just... Dude had a real good season. Oh, I, I really hope that they don't just lose in the playoffs because the dude got hurt in garbage time here in the fourth quarter. Leads it across the middle to Brandt, but that's heartbreaking. You really just hope that that's not what happens here. That they get blown out next week because they're arguably their two best offensive playmakers get hurt. Um, so this will be uh, it here. Yeah, this is the game. So 40 to 10. Congratulations to the Urban Achievers. They are in. They are in the playoffs. How Bunny Lebowski, oh, that was the Russian one. Yeah, Maud Lebowski had 151 yards. Um, it's got to be one of the worst games of the year for Capone. Doesn't even get to 200 yards and throws three picks. So, great season, though, for the Roberts. Great season. You know, you hate to see it end like this, but congratulations to them and to Capone for a great season. Um, but, with all that said here, I am going to come out, and I was talking about the defense, and I'm going to pick the team that I think has the most reliable defense to win it all. Mr. Preseason himself, Mike Petrasic, and uh, the Attorney of All-Stars will win the Season 4 Championship in Tecmo Owners League. That is my bold prediction. Um, so good luck to all the teams that are in the playoffs and look forward to uh, seeing those games. Congratulations again to uh, you know the uh, Urban Achievers. All right, good night, folks.